Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be trying out some products that I got, well, at least one product that I got in my FabFitFun. And that is one of these sets of, one of these masks I received in a set. And I would also like to test out this eye renewal mask. I was reading over these and each of them is for a different skin type. Um, so I think, well, there's one that's exfoliating, one that's clarifying and age defying, brightening, hydrating, and antioxidant. So, um, my skin care regimen is not really where it should be. So I figured I would try out this exfoliating one. Um, there is only one that says that it is for sensitive skin and that is the age defying one but it says it's an age defying face mask it reduces signs of aging helps restore moisture and revitalizes and transforms dry mature skin so i mean that's not really me um i mean i'm probably going to use it at some point but i want to do something that is going to you know help me right now so the exfoliating face mask is for oily combination and problem skin. Oh. Okay, well, apparently I'm not going to use this one because it says it's not suitable for sensitive skin. Okay, we are back to square one because apparently I can't use the exfoliating one. So I'll be giving that one away. This one, the brightening one also says that it is not safe for sensitive skin. So I won't be using that one. And this one says based on clinical testing, but it doesn't say whether it is good for sensitive skin or not. So it's a hydrating one. So I'm going to guess that it's good because a lot of things that have hydration are okay for sensitive skin. Um, but these two don't say anything. So my options are antioxidant because for all skin types and clarifying which says it's for problem acne skin um let's see the antioxidant says it gives tired skin a glowing appearance skin looks and feels healthier and it promotes elasticity and the clarifying one says that it clarifies clogged skin by deep cleaning pores controls excess oil produced by stressed skin and it's an oil free hydration um this one sounds like it's for me. I don't have acne prone skin. However, my pores do need clean, which is why I want to see the exfoliating one um, because it's a deep clean, but this sounds like it's a deep clean too. So we're going to go with this one. Um, and these are all by the brand Karuna. So it's one face mask. So obviously I can't do the face and the eye at the same time. So this is just going to be like a little bit of a longer video, but it's not going to be super long because it's just a face mask. Obviously, I'm going to cut the camera while I'm doing it because it needs to be left on for 10 to 20 minutes. So if you never use face mask, it is a mask. You take it out of the packaging, you slide it on the face. Um, apparently, this one has a backing for, and you have to remove it for cut, custom fit and you will you put on and you enjoy the treatment for 10 to 20 minutes you toss and glow so any product that's left over i'm just going to rub into the skin but i hate these things but we're going to do it i honestly wanted to record like um a testing of a product this morning but i went to work and i didn't get home until like 11 30 and i want to take a nap so i wasn't going to put on makeup and then take a nap. So hopefully I get up early enough that I can record tomorrow before I go to the grocery store and pick up my daughter. So this is what the mask looks like. So the white film is on this side. So I'm gonna put this part onto my face. Oh, I hate it. Seriously, I don't like how this feels. I am honestly going to take this off now. 
because that was just making it hard to get it on my face. I was like making it way too stiff. Uh oh. Okay. It's so cold. So, wish me luck that I have no reactions to this. It is on my whole face. Except for in areas where it won't reach. But that's okay. We'll just rub it in anyway. So, I have to leave this on for 10 minutes. I told you I'm not going to let the camera run. So, I will be back in... We'll do... It says 10 to 20. So, we'll do 15. And I'll be back in 15 minutes and let you guys know how I feel. Wish me luck that it doesn't cause me a reaction. <laughs> See in a little bit. All right, guys, we are back. It has been 15 minutes since I put this mask on. So let's go ahead and take it off. Starting at the bottom, working the way up. Oh, then it's ripping. All right, so I definitely felt that working into my skin. So, let's see. Let's rub it in. And that fit kind of bad. It like didn't touch a lot of my face or, you know what? I feel like it was made too big, like my face was too small for it. I don't know. Just felt weird. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the extra that's on there and just rub that into. And I'm doing it very, very gently, trying not to put any pressure onto my skin. Um, and I'm not going to do the eye thing today because that did kind of cover where my eyes are. So. I don't want to double do it, so I'm going to do this in another video, perhaps tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then I'm going to do it next week. And we'll go over this um, whenever I do do it. So now that that's all rubbed in, um, it is nighttime. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. nighttime cream. Well, it's the nourishing night cream. It's um, a part of their hydration. Uh, hydrating line so my daily hydration moisturizer is the daytime version of this so it's kind of like the continuation you put it on at night and it's supposed to hydrate your skin overnight and then I also have my illuminating eye cream I'm going to apply that to um my under eyes so that's what the night cream looks like it smells almost exactly like the hydration moisturizer this one doesn't really smell like anything which is fine have used this before. Um, I haven't used the eye cream. I'm just going to take a little bit, put on both my fingers, well, both my fingers, both of my hands, and just rub it in. If you have sensitive skin like me, the e.l.f. hydration line is so good. Um, I actually, um, one of my friends at work has sensitive skin as well. And I gave her, I bought the Jet Set Pack from e.l.f.'s website, which had the whole line of hydration products in it. They were sample sizes. Um, once I found out I could use the Daily Hydration Moisturizer, I went and purchased the full size and I gave her the rest of my sample that I had and she absolutely loves it. It keeps her face nice and clear and hydrated. So if you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend that and it is super affordable. Like the full size that you see me use, that's only $8.
I mean, and if you want to try it beforehand, do you want to get all the products? This set, I'm not sure if it's still available. It should still be available. It was $15, which still isn't bad. And I believe I've seen that at Target too. Um, and I'm just going to apply this to the under eye. I think I took out way too much, so I'm going to put some back. And just rub it in. So my face feels super hydrated right now. Honestly, I think I was like a little scared of the face mask, but I, I think I'm going to do it more often. I mean, when I had that on my face, like I could literally feel like my skin tingling and it honestly felt kind of good. So um, you will be seeing more of these. Obviously, I probably can't. I can't use two of the ones I received from FabFitFun, but I did recently receive some from BoxyCharm, which I believe are right here. I think I believe, I think I received more than one set. Maybe it wasn't that. Hold on. I know I received at least one set from BoxyCharm. I thought it was this one, but obviously it's not because the box is right here. Because I did the unboxing recently and that video is up now. So if you haven't watched it, go check it out. Yeah, all my products are in here. Um, I do have, I did receive this Watermelon Glow one from BoxyCharm. So um, I'll be trying that out. And again, that's a sleeping mask, but I don't want to do that so I'm probably going to do it as the 10 minutes so it'll be like kind of like the same thing I'm doing today I'm sorry I have stuff like everywhere because of doing the unboxing but I want to see if I could find those face masks but I'm not seeing them they must have been they must have been like two months ago which means they're like put away so I'll find them um, I'll have to see if they are for safe for sensitive skin. If not, I will probably have to purchase some more that are safe for my skin. But I do have a couple of, like charcoal masks and stuff like that that I can try out in the meantime. It may not always be a sheet mask. Like I got this from Kohl's on clearance. I ended up paying like $2 for this whole thing. Um, and this is a charcoal purifying mask. Um, so I'll be trying this out soon. I also have um, a small face mask from... Oh my goodness, I am drawing a blank. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember the brand's name. But anyways, I have another charcoal mask that I can try out. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this video. Um, I did enjoy that face mask. If you can see, like, my skin looks real bright and real moisturized. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see a difference from when I started this. Um, I I do want to try these out soon. All right, it's a renewal eye mask. It's supposed to minimize the look of fine lines and dark circles, and y'all can see my dark circles. I need this in my life. That is all I have for this video. So I will see you guys on the next one. As always, if you enjoyed this, please be sure to press that like button. Give me that thumbs up. Um, don't forget to share and subscribe. Um, share with your friends. Uh, if they're interested in buying this brand, I can tell you now that the deep conditioning mask, this one here, some good stuff. And again, this is by the brand, I believe you say it, Karuna. That's the brand's name. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a good rest of the night. Bye now.